At the final briefing on the Youth Synod, the participants reflected on what they have learned from the experience. Archbishop Eamon Martin from Ireland found the Synod to be very useful in reflecting on the concrete realities of young people. He discovered that young people had said they lost trust in the church and other institutions. They also struggled to make lifelong commitments. They're drowning amidst a, a, a sea of messages, often very contradictory messages, which are pushing them and pulling them, driving them this way and, the, and that. He believes the church needs to be courageous and offer the youth clear teachings. He also hopes on his return home to challenge the youth to be countercultural and claim their faith in Christ. The church needs to present strong, clear reference points, including moral reference points, things that young people can hold on to, stepping stones to help them negotiate uh, the, the, the journeys that they have to make, to call them to be heroes, to call them to be in some ways countercultural, not always going along with the flow of everything that surrounds them. He desires that you've received the church's enduring message to have a reason for living and a reason for hoping. According to Archbishop Anthony Moeria from Kenya, for all the bishops participating in the Youth Synod, it has been a moment of self-examination. One of the bishops present would somehow measure himself to what he was hearing. And that is the whole work of discernment. From listening, you examine, you assess, and hopefully you start making a program looking forward. The bishops at the Synod are now studying the final document. It will be voted and presented to the Pope before the closing Mass of the Youth Synod.